There are many unexplained myths surrounding the possible existences of ghosts in GTA 5. But a more curious claim has been made by many regarding the sightings of phantoms. Like many myths, these sightings have not yet been proven, but interestingly enough, evidence of the existence of phantoms has been posted online. What is the purpose of their existence? Are they just a simple coding error in the game? Or is there a much darker story to be told? I'm here to find out. Sightings of phantoms have been made in both Chumash and Lago Zancudo, but the most famous location is near the large bridge in North Chumash. It is traditionally believed that phantoms are physical manifestations of spirits from a deceased person. The following image has been posted on the GTA Myths Wiki and is believed to be legitimate evidence of the phantom's existence. These phantoms are described as a whirling mist that moves slowly and does not interact with players. I will investigate once in the daytime and once at night. I will then analyse my evidence and make a decision whether we can prove the existence of phantoms in GTA 5. Hello and welcome back. So, Chumash, we are heading there now to investigate the phantoms which might be there. It's daytime, so we're going to be looking around the daytime now, doing that investigation, and then when night falls, we'll be investigating then. Now, just a, a quick point, we actually came to the location earlier just to look around and just see what the place is like, make sure we can find it, and I did actually see something extremely strange. Now, unfortunately, the, the video you're seeing right now doesn't actually capture exactly what I saw. Um, I didn't have the recording running, I was just driving around, uh, just checking the place out, and I, and I saw this big, it was a very thick, grey, like, smoke, like, smog. Um, and it was really exciting to see. The audio was actually cut out because um, I had some music playing in the background at the time. So I'm very excited to be actually investigating this now because I've actually think I, I think I've seen something. It was it was thick and it was grey. So we are we are actually here now at the uh, at the, the site where I was. Now I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to replicate what I did for you guys now um, and see if we can respawn this uh, this this. I mean I'm not going to lie, it was like a phantom style. It was a grey, thick smog that was moving across. So it was along here I drove, and it was just down here. And it kind of floated across, and it went behind here. And I remember I drove, I, I I saw it, and I was I was a bit unsure what it was. So I drove along here, and then I swear I just saw it clip through the back of the back of this bridge here. And then I don't know, I lost sight of it, and I had no idea what was going on. So I hit the record button, suddenly realizing that I might actually be seeing something more than a bug, um, and I don't know, I didn't catch it on camera, which kind of sucks, but um. I mean, already, even before we hit the record button, we were seeing weird things. Definitely right across here. I, I really want to see it again because it was very, very exciting. Now, the images that, you know, the famous images that we've seen were actually taken just up here. So I'm going to stand roughly in the same place and see if I can see the same phantom uh, image 
that the uh, the image showed. So it was about here that the guy was standing, and it. Wait a minute. Yeah, if you look here, you can see the same, the same weird smoke. I don't know if you can see that, but it's. There we go. It's like a weird puffing. It's like a swirl. Like going around in motions. Look at that. You can clearly see there's something there. Is it moving? So it's in the center of my screen now, roughly. I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge if it's gonna be moving about. It kind of disappears. And it kind of comes back again. So this is definitely, definitely not like a mod. It's definitely something here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to keep walking up this way and see if I can see anything else similar. Because if there's one of them, there's possibly going to be more. So let's just take a walk around. Oh look! It's here as well. Is this a second one? Is it the same one? Or is it following me? So there's definitely something here. Let's keep moving on. Yeah, look! There's another one here! Dude, there's another one here, but it's lower down. It's like, um... Yeah, look. Let's see if I can crouch. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. Just here. Oh! Alright, asshole. <laughs> oh, there was a second guy. Oh, there he goes. Now that's interesting actually because these bikers went right through this weird smog. Now I wonder, let's keep following the bike track, but what I'm thinking, these phantoms or, or whatever they seem to be follow along this bike track. Now obviously we've just seen two motocross bikes go through it. Now I wonder if in some way maybe it's like um. Like the motocross bikes will go down this pathway, and obviously motocross bikes leave smoke behind. I wonder if it's like an unusual particle effect. Oh my god, what the f what was that? Oh my god, it's a cougar, okay. <laughs> That's actually legitimately scared me, I'm actually gonna run from this. So this is definitely, definitely in the game, it's definitely true. This. That what we're seeing now is definitely true. Is the explanation for this a phantom? Currently, I don't know, but uh, it's getting late. Uh, we're going to head back to the van now, and we're going to prepare for our night investigation. Plus, it's chucking it down, so let's get on with it. Okay, hello and welcome back to the night investigation for phantoms. So it is about 9, nine, ten past 9 here and it is uh, it is still chucking it down with the rain, but um, it is night time, it is very foggy, which may be a problem for our investigation, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, what we're going to do, we're gonna actually going to get out of the car, we're going to have a walk around, see what we can find. I'm going to look back in the areas where we originally looked, um, and we're also going to look down on the beach kind of shore area. Uh, it's a really kind of like foggy, dodgy looking area that I want to investigate. So let's get on with the investigation. And here is the the unusual, um, the unusual uh, tornado of smoke here. So that doesn't seem to change. It doesn't seem to go anywhere, which is really, really weird. It just seems to hang around the same zone. Very unusual. Okay, nothing. I'm going to actually walk down this uh, pathway along here and see if I can see anything unusual. There's something funny on the other side. I don't quite know what that is. It's possibly a plant. Let's go check it out. So it goes under here. And where does it end up? Like seriously, where, do, where does that end up? We're going to take a wander along this path here and see if we can see anything or, or hear anything unusual.
I'm not even moving right now. I'm... Okay, so what is that? Let's quickly run up here and try and figure out what that is. Because that ain't me. What on earth was that? So that was... There was uh, footsteps, but there was lots of footsteps. And there was nobody up here. It sounded like my footsteps, but it was continuous footsteps. Let's go back down here and try and replicate it. So we're looking here. We turned around. Trying to move to, to get some footsteps going, but look. Oh, so that was me. That was me. So that's extremely strange. I'm also a bit concerned because that van over there wasn't there before. Now it is possible that someone came and delivered it while we uh, were waiting for it to be night time. Um, but uh, it's very strange. This is interesting. I don't even know what this is. Looks like a monkey, maybe? With a hat on? What a random place to put it. Hmm. Well, it looks like the sun is slowly coming up. We haven't found too much tonight, but what we're going to do now, we're going to take all, all of the footage back. I'm going to cut through it, review it, analyze it, and see if there's anything unusual that we can point out. So let's head over to the investigation lab. Let's do this. Alright, welcome back to the research lab. What I've done here is I've collaborated all the footage that we have and I've pulled out the bits that I think could be evidence or, or could be something to explain uh, the myth. So in my head we have three different pieces of evidence so we're going to go through them and talk about them now. So the first bit of evidence is the was actually the, the, the main sighting of what is called the phantom. Um, I've described it on many occasions to be like a smoke spinning around in circles uh, almost looks like exhaust pipe fumes um, so that's the first piece of evidence we saw that one and we also saw it at night time which is pretty cool so I think for me debating if that is real absolutely that you can see that in the game right now so that does exist but for me does that mean that that is a phantom I don't really think so the only reason I say that is Yes, it's a bit strange, and yes, it's out of place. From what we counted, there was four of them along the bike uh, track pathway. So, for me, I think, from, from just looking at it, it's possibly a bug where the the bikes, they come down the track, and then obviously they leave exhaust fumes behind, and maybe it's just like a bug in the game where the exhaust fumes stay behind. I don't think it can be proven that those are phantoms. There's not enough evidence there. So I think this bit of evidence here has been debunked as not true. The second piece of evidence I want to talk about is by the tunnels. I was looking through a tunnel and then I turned around and then I heard footsteps. Let's play the clip. The reason why I think this is actually a, a big piece of evidence is clearly when you listen to the video, um, you can hear lots and lots of footsteps, you know, several footsteps, it's very consistent, and I am not moving whatsoever. Now, the footsteps sound is the same as my footsteps, but I was completely not moving during that segment. So, the question is, what could that be? Now straight away I'm gonna think maybe it's a bug, maybe it's a glitch, but at the same time it is unusual and we, we should assume more often than not things aren't bugs. For me this piece of evidence I'm still unsure about. The only reason I think it is 
not a phantom or not a ghost is because the sounds are exactly the same as my footstep sounds. When you see that I walk away from from the tunnel, the the sound in terms of the sound quality, in terms of how loud the footsteps are, they sound exactly the same. So for me, maybe this is a bug in the game. I'm not entirely sure, but I do not think this proves that phantoms exist, so I'm debunking this bit of evidence. And finally, the final piece of evidence, unfortunately, is a piece of evidence that we haven't been able to show in the video. It's the, uh, when I came down for the first time and checked this place out and I saw some grey, like, floating clouds across, almost, it's so close to the ground, actually, it was almost along the sand. Now, I know we haven't caught this on video, and I'm almost tempted to not even call it evidence because we haven't caught it on video. So for me, I'm going to put a bit of a question mark over this piece of evidence, only because we don't have enough physical footage to prove what I'm claiming. So for now, I'm actually going to keep this bit of evidence aside and say I cannot tell you if it's been debunked or not, because I, I haven't got the evidence to show you guys. Now it comes down to the conclusion time. Personally, with all the evidence that we have, and we've reviewed it all, most of the evidence has been debunked. Specifically looking at the phantoms and the images that have been posted on the website, I do not believe that phantoms exist in this form. I think the image that was been posted on the wiki is not a real is not a real phantom. I, I personally believe it's just a, a glitch in the game or a bug or an error. Regards to what I've seen myself, I have no idea. Um, maybe there's something more going on. I cannot tell you, and I cannot show you. So with my final conclusion, I'm going to say that the phantoms are unproven. I personally believe that the images that we've seen are in fact just a bug, but I do believe that there is something there, something that I couldn't explain and something I haven't been able to show you guys. So as I said, if I do get a chance, I may come back to this in the future, but for now, I'm actually going to leave this one and say to you guys, you know, maybe you guys can go out and check it out for yourselves. Um, but yeah, that's where I stand with this one. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching on this one. It was a bit of a, a bit of a different one. It's a lot longer this episode, so I hope you like it. Um, make sure you check out the other ones, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.